Okay, today we have this Samsung LE40 B652. This is a smart LCD TV. Smart not as in if it looks pretty, but that it has internet features built in. The ethernet port, I believe it can also use Wi-Fi, USB modules. Anyway, the fault today is it's not completing its boot up process. Uh, taking a few frames off, so this t normally is covered by a frame. Um, I'm going to power it up. Listen carefully to start melody. Notice how it doesn't seem to complete the melody, and it will repeat that. And it will continue to repeat this process until you unplug it. So uh, we'll have to diagnose the fault with that. Um, the TV is not booting up. We have a power supply with integrated inverter. A main board and a T-Con, and there's nothing else in these things, they're pretty bare. Um, so we're going to try and isolate the fault uh, in each of the boards to see if where the fault is. First thing, since we bought this for cash, uh, we want to make sure that the screen's not bust and there aren't other problems. So, what I've done is I've unplugged the connector, going to the power supply, uh, and I'm going to plug the TV in. And what you'll see is the backlight immediately turns on. This is a sort of self-test built in. As you can see, the screen's lit up. There's not a problem with it. There's no cracks or anything. Well, there might still be panel defects, although I, uh, I think that'd be quite unlikely. Um, so we know now it's okay to work on. Okay, here's the next step. The T-Con board has been unplugged from the T-Con board side. So let's plug it in now. Time is complete. There's a source connected. And when you can hear, the TV is now producing sound from that source. So, the issue is somewhere on the T-Con board most likely, as when the T-Con is removed, the uh, TV is able to boot fully. The main board is not detecting a problem. Quick thing I forgot, let's actually isolate the panel itself. So, unhinge these ribbons. One side. The other side, so the panel's now disconnected, the T-Con's still connected. I haven't heard of shorted LCD panels, but we'll see um, what this one does. It does exactly the same thing before as with the T-Con plugged in, but the panel connected, so we can now isolate the panel from being the fault. Um, if I unplug this, it, it may complete boot up. It then completes boot up. So uh, the fault is on the T con somewhere. Okay, what I've done is I've frozen this area. I'm going to apply voltage current to it. And what will you see? Look at that. See that IC there, which defrosted very quickly compared to the rest of the board. Well, that's where the fault is. Uh, now the problem is trying to find a compatible replacement for it. So the only marking on the chip is AMV. Uh, I searched loads of manufacturers' websites trying to find an equivalent chip and could not find it until I put that into Google and I see top mark AMV and I go here and this is the evaluation kit for it and it clearly says the max 8727 should have should be a 10 pin TDFN with the top mark being AMV now here's what got me this is why I probably missed it you see it says 2.6 to 5.5 and a half volt input supply range well a boost converter the switch on it is an N channel MOSFET can act as a um, can have a higher input voltage than the IC itself because it sees the output voltage across it during the flyback period. It's kind of hard to explain, but basically, you take this input voltage, you draw it in through here, uh, which builds up a current in a magnetic field in the inductor, and you switch off. The field flies back, goes to the diode, into the capacitor, and with some clever control circuit, you can get a regulated output. Now, what 
uh, Samsung have clearly done is they've run the chip off 5 volts or so or 3.3 or whatever so they can get the control signals hopping out that, operating off that supply voltage and the input's 13 so uh, things like Farnell searches can't always help you but this appears to be the part so hopefully replacing that will sort it out uh, let's have a little look at this maximum rated 26 volt on the switch so maybe it's a uh, using near the maximum output uh, voltage which might be one of the reasons it's failed um, you'll probably get a free sample from Maxim to fix this and uh, um, we'll see